<clears throat> so finding the Maclaurin series of the function x times e to the x. Now, on the AP exam, they might ask you some variation of this, uh, like f of x equals x times e to the negative x, or f of x equals 2x e to the negative 2x. But there, you have to realize that there are just adding constants, because negative x is just x times negative 1, so it's multiplying a constant. So as long as we know this core function and how to find the Maclaurin series of this function, then we can solve them for any other function they give us. So let's go ahead and try this out. f of x is equal to x e to the x. f prime of x is equal to, we're going to use a product rule. So f prime of x is going to be derivative of the first term, 1, times the second term plus derivative of the second term times the first term. So x e to the x. So f second prime of x is going to be derivative of this term, e to the x, plus derivative of this term. Well, derivative of this term is simply equal derivative of f of x. So we just replace this section over here. And f three prime of x equals well, one th same thing again, so plus e to the x plus e to the x plus derivative of x e to the x, which equals e to the x plus x e to the x. So e to the x plus x e to the x. And so on until we get a generalized expression, fn of x will simply equals, well, here's the third order derivative, and we have three e to the x terms. Well, that means n is directly related to the order of derivatives, so n times e to the x, plus x times e to the x. There will always be an x times e to the x term at the very end. So let's go ahead and solve this for f n of 0. So if x equals 0, n times e to the 0 plus 0 times e to the 0. So this is 0, and we get n. So once again, uh, if f to the nth order derivative of 0 equals n, then we can apply it directly to our Maclaurin series equ uh, equation or formula. So n equals 0 to the infinity. We get x to the n over n minus 1 factorial. So that was. Uh, an example of how to find the Maclaurin series for a function that wasn't a cosine or a sine or uh, some type of fraction with a variable in the denominator. So these four that we looked at, uh, including this f of x equals x times e to the x, are very, very, very common on the AP exam. And you should know them very well and maybe even memorize the Maclaurin series for those four functions that, so then we can use them uh, whenever they come up on the AP exam. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.